Hey, what's up, Life Bolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2013 horror film, no comedy horror film, Curse of Chucky. So this start, takes place in 2013, came out 2013. This is four years after the post events of Seed of Chucky, because we leave off in 2009 with the five-year-old Glenn and Glenda's birthday party, right? Tiffany has been inhabited, uh, inhabited Jennifer Oh my goodness, what's her what's her last name? I don't have a remote. Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. Oh my goodness. It just I couldn't get the name out. So Jennifer Tilly has been Tiffany for the last five years, timeline wise. And so she's at the very end of this, and Alex Vincent is back as Andy uh at the end of this as well. And it's very interesting watching watching these characters keep coming back. So it's been 25 years since the original 88 film and 25 years in the timeline as well. So Andy is now 31 at the end of this film, keeping up with the age if he was six in the very first film. Now the, the film takes place in Rhode Island. Uh, this main character, Nika, lives with her mom, Sarah, this gigantic old mansion, and they are gifted, they, they receive a package of this Chucky doll no note not understanding why uh chucky then kills sarah and then nika's sister brother-in-law niece and then niece's au pair who's like a living nanny visit to prep for the funeral and then the priest the father comes uh with them as well chucky then rat poisons the father he electrocutes the au pair he uh kills the mom barb by taking her eye out after stabbing her in the head he what else does he do who did i miss no that was it on that the little girl the niece nika's niece he keeps like hidden to inhabit her so we're back to the he wants to inhabit again and we know it's the same doll from the last time we ran off because the last doll that Glenn chopped up was just two arms and two legs came off, but the body and the head was still intact. So it's a matter of who repaired that Chucky and then sent it to uh, Nika's family. Uh, so it's just assumed that Jennifer Tilly's character of Tiffany, a.k.a. Jennifer Tilly, in the show, in the show, in the film, patched him up and sent him over. And then after... Chucky tries to kill Nika. She says, why? Why are you doing that? And Nika's paralyzed. She's uh, paraplegic, waist down, doesn't feel anything. And so she's going up and down to this metal elevator throughout the, throughout the movie. She's crawling around on stairs. And it's, it's very perspective in regards to how do you survive that kind of situation if you're in that situation. But then she asks, why? Why this family? And then it's revealed that Charles was actually friends with that family uh, back, in back in Chicago. And, no, back in Jersey, because he's from Jersey originally, with Tiffany. And he uh, fell in love with Nika's mom, Sarah, and wanted her to himself. And he kidnapped her while she was still pregnant with Nika. And then Sarah had betrayed him and called the cops. And so he stabs her in the belly. And that's what caused Nika's uh, paralysis, her paraplegic is. There's a term. I don't know the term. And so... That's what led him on his chase through the streets of Chicago, getting shot by the cops in that toy store, Mike the Cop in the toy store, and then transferring his soul into Chucky. So we get the lead up in regards to getting to the toy store. We know he was being chased. We knew his partner, Eddie, had betrayed him. Um, was Eddie working with Sarah? That's not actually discussed. Um, oh, yes, I've had Tiffany and, and Chucky with me still. I'm not taking them down until we're done with our marathon. But it's it's just interesting getting the backstory from something that was first introduced 25 years ago and then leading into this, this was pure horror. So we're back to the horror slasher genre. No more comedy. And it's unfortunate because I love horror comedy. So four, four and five are just so epic. So, so epic. I, I don't know how, how we're going to rank all of these films. Uh, but four and five are just so epic because it's just pure comedic changing of the genre because Scream did it and so they could do it and it, it's just fun Don, Don Mancini um, wrote and directed this as well uh, but then we're back to 
horror slasher. It's a good horror film. It's just you're coming off these two really funny films and then you're back to the drama and you're back to the horror and you're like, okay, I want to laugh, but I can't. And it's, I don't know, it's it's interesting in a sense of it just feels weird going back to the genre of previously when we already changed the genre, so we're flipping genres back. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just the momentum kind of stalled and like, I don't know where we're going next. Cult of Chucky... I know Nika was back. I know Chucky's back. I feel like Andy and Tiffany and, and uh, were back as well, but I, I don't remember. I think I saw bits and pieces of it, or I saw it once, and that was it. But uh, we're going to watch it again. We're going to talk about it. But the timeline still matches up all these years later. The post credit scene is is Chucky somehow mails himself. No, no, no. Tiffany mails Tiffany as Jennifer Tilly mails Chucky to Andy, grown-up Andy, who then is talking to his mom on the phone, Miss Barkley, Karen Barkley. And uh, saying that he's going to come visit her for his birthday tomorrow. And his birthday is... I'm trying to remember the timeline. December? December-ish? November, December? I feel like one newspaper said the Strangler was killed in November. And the other newspaper said he was killed in December. I, I, don't, I don't know 100%, but it was winter. We'll put it that way. Winter time. End of fall, beginning of winter. Around that Christmassy season um, is Andy's birthday. So he's he's talking to his mom and he's going to visit her. And Chucky's, you know, cutting himself out of the box. And then he turns around and he sees Andy with the shotgun. And because Andy graduated Kent Military School, so he knows how to use weaponry now. And we see, the, we see the diploma on the mantle. We see him and his mom. We see a picture of Kyle, his foster sister from the second film. Very cool. It's um, it's just neat seeing all these tie-ins as well, continuing on with the character development, expanding the universe, but continuing on with the character development, expanding the story, but continuing on with the character development. Um, and then just Chucky surprising goes, Andy! And then he's like, Andy's like, play with this! And then shoots Chucky, and then turns to black. So the Chucky then in Cult of Chucky, what Chucky is that? We have to look, we have to watch. So we're back to He Wants to Be Human. No more he wants to stay a doll because he doesn't have to age. Now he's prepping the younger girl to be his host. But then in, in this, on hindsight, if the end of the film was him prepping the girl to be his host, why was the post credit scene him getting mailed to Andy to then kill Andy because he never could actually kill Andy? Does he want to... Did he stop the ritual with the girl? And he was like, you know what? No, we're going back to the original plan, original Andy. We're going to finish what we started, kill Andy, take that body. I think that's what happened. That makes more sense then. Again, we're just putting the little pieces together of the blurry fill in the dots. This story has a lot of blurry fill in the dots, but conveniently you can actually fill in the dots to make a cohesive plot. So we're five, no, four, five, six. We're six movies in, seven, seventh film and final film as of right now. The reboot is its own separate timeline, own separate universe, so we don't have to worry about that. And we already talked about it. But then the TV show, seasons one and two, that already aired, we're going to watch those, talk about those, because we haven't seen that yet. And then three is still airing, so once that finally airs, past tense, we'll watch it, we'll talk about it at some point, probably over the winter. Anyway, Curse of Chucky, 2013 horror film. On to the next review. Mahalo.